so hi there, everybody. Thank you so much. I'm uh, Roxanne Moore, and I'm here on behalf of the United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, as well as the Digital Humanitarian Network, where I help to serve as an analyst as well as a remote support coordinator. So essentially, I really, really, really love structured data. Um, so it makes perfect sense that I went into the complex and messy world of humanitarian response. Uh, <laughs> this past year, um, we have 40, 41 recognized global disasters at a country-based scale. We have over 16 billion in a humanitarian funding gap, and we have over 60 million persons currently displaced. So we have some really big challenges that we need to work through. Because of my love of structure and the messy world that I live in, I'm really interested in how we can combine those and essentially create a timeline of humanitarian response. That way we can understand what's being created and then therefore start plugging in people who are doing amazing things. And there's entire networks and people who are doing this already. So essentially, I'm here today to talk a little bit about their work um, and highlight those activities. So for me, to start off, this begins in 2013 with uh, Typhoon Yolanda in the Philippines. And essentially, in the months coming afterwards, uh, Andre Verity, Yale Link, Christina McKinnon, they developed a product called the Sudden Onset Guidance uh, for Information Management Officers in OCHA. And essentially, this was a timeline of all the OCHA products which will come out after an emergency. Fast forward to Nepal in 2015. So essentially, if we look at this guidance, this says all the activities that were coming on in the days, weeks, and months to follow the emergency. If we read this from the top down, we have the coordination and events which were occurring. If we read this from the bottom up, these are all the OCHA products which come out over the course of the first two days, the first week, second weeks, and in the months to come. Also during that time period, the Humanitarian Information Review and Analysis Tool, HERA, came out. So applying what was occurring in a product timeline for OCHA, we now understand that a little bit more for all the other clusters. So for health, for shelter, for food security, what they're doing over time. And in the digital world, there was two coordinators by that time. So essentially, these are paid persons who can be able to help support and understand what's going on in the tech scene. Combining the digital teams with all the resources that they've been developing, the lessons learned within DHN, as well as the lessons and research coming out from ISCRAM, ICCM, Hot Summit, humanitarian, Harvard Humanitarian Initiative. There's digital products that we now have a catalog for. In July 2015, the, D, the Digital Humanitarian Network released its product catalog. So here's what digital teams are doing, and here's all the stuff they can help with. In April 2016, Ecuador earthquake. And there was a number of new tools and products released at that time. Helen Campbell in the coordinated data scramble specifically did one where they released a series of questions uh, approved by a information management working group and said, here's all the questions that people are searching for. Let's search for them together rather than you searching over here and you searching over here. And we were able to analyze the results from that. So how many map products have come out? And how many of those map products actually answer what we're interested in? That project's called Map Filter. In uh, May 2016, World Humanitarian Summit. And essentially, WHS said, we need to get our act together because the world's really, really difficult. And we don't have enough resources to help with the way that we're at. The biggest thing, or not the biggest, but one of the things is the joint assessments. So rather than everybody trying to figure out what's going on and doing our independent assessments, let's combine together and try to uh, strategize what's the most important thing coming forward. So essentially, if I pour all of these things together, <laughs> I have a lot of information. 
Um, and my hope and my dream is to be able to align all of those up. That way we can have a better way to pass off one project to another to another. So I still need help getting all this together, and I'd love to be able to work with you guys on it. Thank you.